The Super Grouper was originally built to do a single sequence, but I had several requests for the ability to run multiple sequences. So the way that that works is uh, you basically, and this is all described when you choose multiple sequences, uh, but you basically create up to five bins with numbers on the end. So let's say 30i bin 1, 30i bin 2, 30i bin 3. The beginning doesn't have to match, so this could be called a bin 1, his bin 2, so on and so forth, as long as it has the number at the end. Uh, and then I would just have all of those bins open, and the supergrouper will automatically find the bin with the appropriate number at the end and uh, allow me to run through and group all of those sequences. One other thing to take note of when grouping multiple sequences, when you're working with multiple sequences, the supergrouper uses the number at the end of the bin name to identify which bin it's working with. So you'll notice that, as I mentioned before, I have a number at the end. And QuickKeys actually uses that number to identify the window. During the add edit process, the supergrouper brings up the get info window for the sequence in order to tell whether it's reached the end of that sequence. You'll notice that the get info window actually has the name of the sequence listed at the top. So if you have a sequence that has a number at the end of its name, you'll notice that when I pull up the get info window, this window has a number at the end of its name as well, which can actually cause problems with Supergrouper and cause it to click this window instead of this window. So if you're doing add edits with multiple sequences, make sure that your sequence doesn't have a number at the end of the name. One more thing to be aware of when you're doing multiple sequences. If you're starting with sequence one and you have sequence three open in the timeline when the supergrouper begins, it may make the mistake of starting to subclip sequence three. So make sure that when you start subclipping, you have the sequence that you want the supergrouper to subclip open in the timeline when it begins. Going back to the supergrouper dialog, when I choose multiple sequences, it asks me if I'd like to create ad edits. In this case, I'm going to choose skip, and I'm going to have it remember my decision. I'll hit continue. And you'll see that it now brings up this description of the settings for multiple sequences. This is almost exactly what I just covered, so just run through it quickly. But if you've watched this video, you know most of this information. I'll hit continue. It's now asking me the number of sequences that I want to group. As it says, you can group up to five sequences, and the bins that contain those sequences have to have the corresponding number at the end. In my case, I'm going to do three sequences. Now Supergrouper wants to know what my track assignments are for these sequences. In this case, I'm working with three sequences, all with different track assignments. If I were working with three sequences with the same track assignments, I would choose same track assignments. But in my case, they're all different, so I'll choose different track assignments. And now it's asking for the first video track for the first sequence. So this is sequence one that I have open here. The first video track is V1, so I'll type in the number one. The last video track is V10, so I'll type in the number 10. First ISO audio track, I believe in this case it's 17, and the last ISO audio track is 17. Now it's going to repeat the same steps for sequence 2. For sequence 2, in my case, I only have one video track. So the first video track would be 1, and the last video track would be 1. And I'm working with polyphonic audio, so I'm just going to choose A3 as my audio track. So I'll type 3, and then once again 3. Now I'm going to open up my third sequence, and it looks like it's similar to my second sequence. It's only one video track and one polyphonic audio track. So my video track will be one and one, and my audio track looks like will be four. And then since it's polyphonic, I only have to sub out a single track. So once again, I'll do four. Now once I hit OK, Supergrouper is going to run exactly as it would with a single sequence, but once it finishes that first sequence, it's going to move on to the second sequence, and then finally the third. And that's working with multiple sequences. Give it a shot. It's actually really straightforward and extremely powerful.